Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriya Kal, Salam. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mina Nama Anjali Hey. And today, for those of you who have celebrated over the weekend, happy Eid Mubarak. Um, we hope you did it safely if you did. Yeah. Um, we love India. If you haven't been on our channel before, because of its diversity, because of its secularism, and we like to see good things happen for everybody. Yeah. We just did a video on German Kashmir, uh, a Muslim girl who spoke out, uh, Yana, she does an amazing job speaking about how being part of India and how much growth is coming their way. And um, she did an awesome job and we are applaud her. She, you can tell she is proud to be in India and she's excited about these new things and she wants the younger generation people her age to get educated instead of being part of the terrorist and and get these great jobs that are coming that direction um, we've talked here many times we our theory is more we don't approve of pakistan's policies where they are not treating Hindus fairly there. They are not treating, you know, other religions there fairly. They are breaking temples. They are breaking statues. Um, you know, we hear if, if it's, you know, if somebody has a, a marriage and it's not a Muslim marriage, then somebody can take your wife and marry her off as a Muslim and you can say nothing about it. Those are the kind of policies we don't agree with. Um, we also don't agree with China's policies, the CCP, and how they treat their people, and especially the people that they've taken over in some of these other areas like Tibet. Um, but this video is how China treats the Uyghur Muslims. And we've heard about them being locked in concentration camps, that they're yeah. changing their Quran, that they're trying to sterilize them. And this is just another, um, video about it. This is when I would expect, instead of Imran Khan getting up and talking about Kashmir and wanting Kashmir back and it's going to be a bloodbath if they let let up the, you know, um, this is when he needs to speak up. Nobody in Kashmir is getting treated like this. Nobody. Nobody in India treats Muslims like this. They're not put in concentration camps like this. This is not how it's done. Ilian Omar here got up and went off on how badly it is in German Kashmir and for, for Muslim people. And this is a video she needs to watch. This is something she needs to speak up about. These Uyghur Muslims that are in China that are being forced to do things they shouldn't be doing and they're changing their religion. All these countries that are based on religion, Islamic, Islamabad, right? Mm -hmm. They need to be speaking out against China, and they're not. And why? Why is that? You think they're scared? It could be, but why would they be scared if, if they go out of China, they would be outrun by so many other countries willing to help them? Yeah, but I think China has been paying them off giving them yeah. money and support at the UN. So they are a little bit afraid and I think they're turning the other cheek, you know? So let's watch this and see what she has to say. How far can a state go to force conformity on ethnic and religious minorities? The persecution of the Uyghurs in China is the most telling example. While there has been a steady trickle of horrifying stories from China's Xinjiang province in the last few years, the full extent of Beijing's torture is finally coming into view now. The Chinese regime has literally given a license to Communist Party spies to sexually abuse Uyghur women. These men are staying in Uyghur homes, pairing up, as they call it, with Uyghur women and sleeping in their beds. A province turned into a mass jail and a government determined to push a community to the brink. Colonial practices, torture, mysterious deaths and now institutionalized rape. I am always worried 
All the time, I don't have feeling I'm safe here. The Uyghurs, the victims of China's cultural genocide, are suffering another horror. Rape in the name of integration. That's disgusting. Yeah. They say war is the theater of our worst impulses. China is not a nation at war, but it is running a terror regime against its own citizens, the Uyghurs. For Lots two years now, the state yeah, has China. been running a program called Pair Up and Become Family. This is only for the Uyghurs. China says this is voluntary, but the Uyghurs know better. No, Refusing to participate voluntary. in a government no. program will earn them the tag of extremism. Right. What does this program do? Yeah. It gives the Chinese government officials the license to rape Uyghur women. That's disgusting. Millions of Communist Party spies are being sent to stay in Uyghur homes. They pair up with Uyghur women while their husbands are tortured in prison camps. This is Where sexual exploitation is and China's justification is incredible. It says that these men are there to understand the lives and political views of the Uyghur community. Understanding their lives by sharing their beds. The Communist Party officials admit this is what they are doing. Oh, there are medical experiments, finally. rape, and forced abortions. I'm always worried. All the time, I don't have feeling I'm safe here. This is an invasive and forced assimilation practice, and China wants the world to be a silent witness. Of course they do. What mm -hmm. is worse, it is succeeding. And the world has been. Last month, 22 nations issued a joint statement against China, but those who call themselves the guardians of Muslims around the world were silent. Oh, surprise, Those surprise. who use religion to legitimize their own mm -hmm. regime will not speak against China. Why not? And then there are some who pretend that they don't know anything well, about Imran it. Imran Khan doesn't know anything about What's your about stance it? on China's treatment of Uyghur Muslims? Frankly, I don't know much about that. The fact is, the Uyghurs have been abandoned by the world. China's checkbooks are buying the silence mm -hmm. of its debtors. I'm sure they are. Islamic nations are lending credibility to Beijing's human rights violations. Bureau Report, we on World is One. This is unbelievable that this has been going on for so long. Yeah. The world has been turned a blind eye to China. And I don't know if it's just because of business aspects, like they make so much more money, but I don't know. China makes so much, five, six times whatever you make off of China. So what's the point? I don't if you understand. can get so much better products with fair trade. Yeah. This is just like human right violation after human right violation after yeah. human right violation. And nobody has gone to the UN floor on them. And there's, you know, between the COVID-19 and the way they're treating their people is just disgusting. And this is like the CCP is supposed to be one of the top five people holding a UN seat. You know, where is your leadership? Yeah. That you've admitted that this is going on and this is okay because you're trying to assimilate them. You're trying to change their Quran and now you're letting your officers sleep with their women so that they get a mixed baby so that they make the assimilation easier on them, on them, or on you. Yeah, and then the Pakistan leader, Mr. Imran Khan, pretends he has nothing to do with this. He hasn't heard much about that. No, not at all. Yeah. Why? Because China is feeding your pockets full of money? You know, you have more in common with India. You were once together, but you have so much hate. So hate has spread so much that you're going to go with the person that's basically raping your woman and putting them... In, in putting concentration them, yeah. camps. Yeah. Yeah. 
And what do you think is going to happen if you owe them so much money that they can just come and take your land? What do you think is going to happen to you? They're going to change your Quran too. Yeah. This is, you're always on the floor talking about German Kashmir, that there's going to be a bloodbath, that, you know, I pick up a gun and you go on and on and on. Every single time you get on the floor, you talk about how badly uh, India is treating the people in German Kashmir. So where are your eyes on China? Yeah. When they are treating over 2 million Uyghur Muslims this way. They're putting the men in separate camps and beating them and being violent to them. And they're sleeping with the women so that they have these mixed babies, so that they are converting them to how they want, how the CCP wants them to be and act in accordance to how they like their government run. Where are your eyes on that? You don't see that. But India, India can't do anything without Imran Khan getting up on the step stool and yelling yeah. about India. The venom that spews from Pakistan to India, the hatred. I mean, hatred. we've seen it. Like, the little boy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's disgusting. It comes from little and it grows up. But it comes from leaders that are spewing yeah. this stuff. And I don't understand how the hatred is that bad when you used to be one country your clothes are similar, your language is similar, you have so many similarities with India, and yet your hatred towards them blinds you to stuff that China is doing to people like you, Muslims, Uyghur Muslims, but you're not seeing it because they are feeding your pockets or giving you bioweaponry. Yeah. Who knows what else is going on there? This needs to stop the world this is the time the world needs to open their eyes and not let the ccp get away with stuff like this and we need to hear more about this even in the u.s i've hear a lot about the the terrible things that are happening in jimra and kashmir and how badly india treats the muslims but we haven't been doing anything but we do not hear about china and the things like this that happened in china no Nothing like that comes out here. So there needs to be bigger eyes open and the world needs to wake up that you can get cheap products anywhere and China's making more money than you are anyways. So China really needs the rest of the world. So if the rest of the world decides they don't need China, China's the one that's going to lose out. And maybe some of these Uyghur Muslims and Tibet and Hong Kong and Taiwan will become free again. Yeah. Like they should be. Yeah. So I hope the world wakes up and uh, maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.